Hi guys, I'm Lukman. I'm a property agent. Welcome to my home. I'm going to show you guys how I get this home done in less than $15,000. This is our living room. This is a 4A model by the way. So what we did was to get a lot of second-hand furniture. Then we got this from Carousel. So every night we spend about 5 minutes looking through Carousel and uh, we find some good deals. Sometimes uh, a per furniture costs around $100. Uh, sometimes it's in beat up condition, so when we brought it over, we'll just uh, do a simple restoration and then it's good to go. And we'll probably renew its lifetime for at least another 5 to 10 years. So some of the things I want to highlight on at my living room would be the large size coffee table that we got for about $50. And it's really sturdy. I think that's very important, especially being a father of three sons who like to jump on surfaces such as this. I need to ensure that it's able to hold up against uh, that kind of weight. So this one is uh, something that I got from uh, Sentosa Cove. I got this for about $150. Uh, it was from an expat who was leaving Singapore due to COVID. So I think this was quite a steal as well. This is actually a uh, TV. It's uh, from Samsung, it's called the frame. So when it's turned off, it turns into a picture frame. Otherwise, you can turn it back into a TV. So the style that we wanted to achieve for this home is uh, more towards the pre-war mid-century style and uh, we understand that in order to achieve that kind of concept we need a lot of oversized plants and they usually use arica palms and uh, the bird of paradise so we thought that since all the second-hand furniture that are made of really good material uh, style according to those times so why not we just go along with it and make it consistent throughout the house. So another thing that we did uh, after the living room I want to show you is my dining area. This would have been a third bedroom. The dining space otherwise would have been on this side and I thought that it's a little bit too small. If I were to hack down this room, this would be just nice for a six-seater dining table. So I was in a dilemma while making the decision to actually hack off one room. It's either I compromise on one entire common room for a larger sense of space or I keep that additional common room which to be honest I don't really need because my sons are still small they still sleep with me this marble table was actually to bless we got it from Carousel so it was for free and uh, we just uh, had to pay for the delivery so it cost about $150 because it's a very heavy piece of furniture the chairs were around $18 each they were of a lighter colour so we changed it uh, stained it to a darker tone to match the whole thing and uh, the chandelier also we got for $300 uh, this was the best deal to me because these are uh, legit marble cups, uh, chandelier with brass. Otherwise, it would have cost maybe four to five thousand dollars. And because it's second hand, I got it for three hundred bucks, and I, I was very happy with it. Some additional things also, I, I did a medallion, fixed it up myself, along with the wainscoting panels that I do around the medallion. So this helps to uh, decorate the ceiling a little bit, so it doesn't feel too plain, and also because it goes along with the. Uh, pre-war mid-century concept. So we added these three mirrors to further increase the sense of space because you know as a property agent I know that um, people are more inclined to uh, be happier with a home with a much larger sense of space and that is true for me as well. Now we're gonna head on to the bedrooms. The first room that we have is actually the kids bedroom and uh, the kids bedroom has not much uh, essence of the mid-century style. I just figured that it's a little bit too mature and harsh for them and most of the kids' furniture, they don't usually come in that kind of style anyway. These are the ones that are usually made available in Carousel for secondhand. Like for example, this is actually from Ikea. It's called a Kura bed. They would have cost about $300 if you were to have bought it first hand from Ikea. But I got it from Carousel for $50, right? The mattresses are brand new though along with the sheets and the pillows. Those things, I think it's necessary to have them as first. I can't remember what it's called, but it's from IKEA as well. I thought that it looks really nice. It goes along with the rest of the furniture in the kids' bedroom. Uh, we got this for about $100. I'm not sure how much it would have cost from IKEA if it would have been first hand. Probably $400, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we have a uh, Ficus. And this would be the only room that allows us to have a little bit more play with the types of plants because we are not restricted by you know, the consistency of the outside. Yeah, it's a little bit more relaxed, lighter tones on the wood. And uh, one consistency is that uh, it still has natural wood grains in the furniture. I did this uh, wallpaper myself as well. We got this from Shopee. It cost like about, in total, maybe $15. So I just rolled it up myself. This is actually the common toilet. I designed it in, a, in such a way whereby 
um, it resembles more of same era of the mid-century where many of the metal things are either brass and copper and they will have dark woods. So it resembles those uh, gentleman vintage sort of uh, vibe. We have uh, two wall lamps here. Uh, this one is uh, built in, so it's part of the renovation cost along with the vanity. So now we are in the master room. Um, basically, what we did to this room is just added more wainscoting to the walls to give it that uh, decorated feel along with uh, these two table lamps, we thought they were really nice. Added two mirrors as well and then uh, we got a local artist to paint this picture for us. So everything is also from Carousel again. The side tables, the bed frame. We prefer this kind of um, standing leg uh, bed frame is so that you know my children have that little facility to crawl underneath because when I was a child I used to do that at my mom's place a lot so I thought that I want to have that for them too. This one um, also from Carousel this was about $100 also made of teak and it still has the uh, teak land type over here so it's legit really solid piece of uh, furniture out of uh, teak wood and this is an armoire as well um, I got it for like think, $300 also from Carousel and I, I really love how all this furniture came in in the most durable condition they need like minimal restoration to be honest most of the time I'm actually doing the restoration because I just want to change the tone the color of the wood and also just give it a brand new lease of life our kitchen we did in such a way whereby uh, there's an island over here and we built up this little board backing here like a little housing unit this is so that all our appliances can fit underneath here so that means when you're from the living or the dining you won't actually see uh, all the mess and activity that's happening right behind here now if you come along this way just after the appliance you'll see this massive surface area where we can do our preparations for cooking so we, we start to get ready to serve our dishes plate them uh, the surface area is very important there was piping right up here and uh, one of the suggestions was to just box up the piping but i thought it would be weird because it just ends abruptly like that so i decided to extend the l-box all the way to keep the consistency and added down lights there the reason why i don't want to have top cabinets uh, for this side of the kitchen is also because um, I feel that it will make the space a little bit tighter and for me space is really important sense of space as well so sense of space is definitely to me most important more important than storage space finally we have our last space here is the bomb shelter this is my little outdoor space this is a total relaxed chill out area where there's no rules um, no criteria no restrictions on uh, you know what kind of style uh, that can go in here like. so it's basically just a washing machine uh, two chairs with a folding table that can fold down when I want to do my laundry. Alright guys, thank you so much for visiting my home. I hope this video has been beneficial to you and if you have any inquiries related to property or interior design or carpentry, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you.